This video will cover how to export member data such as beams, columns, and braces from SDS2 detailing and then import them into Steel Erection Bid Wizard's tasks. The SDS2 model can be created from an import from another software such as Revit, even before the project has been awarded to the fabrication detailer, or it can be generated from the fabrication detailer's model. In this demonstration, I'm going to export the model from Revit, which was graciously provided by Ascension Group Architects in Latent Construction, and then import it into SDS2's Erector Plus station by using the free transfer API. Other formats such as IFC, SIS2, and SDNF can also be used. First, I select the model, and then I will run the Export API. I will now import the exported Revit file into SDS2. This model is a prefabrication detailing model with 1,939 members as indicated in summary. I will select the members and then export a file that we will use to import into the bid wizard. Here is a look at the exported file. In Bid Wizard, using the out of the box defaults, I created a new bid named Prefabrication Model. I will set the square footage to 95,000 with a 12 man crew. I will change the task group to 1 to match what is in the imported file. Since we're just beginning our interface with Bid Wizard, we'll use the Fab Suite application type. Go ahead and import the selected file. When I expand the erection tasks, we can see the populated data. And at the top, we'll see the actual cost for just the beams, columns, and braces. Now I'll demonstrate the same process using the detailer's completed fabrication model, which is an exact representation of the steel that you will receive at the site. This model is after all the revisions and modifications have been made. From the summary, we can see that there are a combined total of 2,535 beams, columns, and braces that will actually be shipped to the site for the project. Once again, I will select all the members on the project, run the bid wizard export, and then name the file fabrication model. With this export, we see that the members were sequenced in the exported file which means that you would have to add task groups for each sequence. For convenience in this demonstration, I am going to set all the sequences or task group to 1 in this file. I created a new bid fabrication model, set the square foot to 95,000 square feet with a 12-man crew. Then I will import the tasks as I did earlier. Quite a difference in the number of members from the original Revit export. Save the project. Now let's look at our dashboard. We now see the difference in the cost for only the beams, columns, and braces. Currently, this process is being developed with the goal to expand past just the main material of the members. To obtain the plugin to export the file, please contact James at Design Data. Thank you for watching.